Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be picking our TBR for the month of September. I'm actually really, really freaking excited because this is my first time doing a TBR jar video. I promise I have plenty in here. It's just, it looks like there's none. So I am really excited to start this video. I have so many books in my shelves that I want to you know, get read in the month of September. And I, I have been in a fantasy thriller mood, obviously. We're getting closer to the fall. It's getting, you know, it's going to start to get cold. So I'm really excited to see. I'm going to be picking about seven to eight picks in this um, video just because I want to make this video short and post it because we we have to start reading. It's almost September. I'm a couple of days away from um, the first. So let's see what our first pick is going to be. I bring you guys a little bit more up so you guys can see like the books that we're choosing from. So we're going to pick our first pick. I am actually so nervous because I hope I get good ones because I don't know. Let's see. The book that has been on your TBR the longest. Or a book that's been on your TBR the longest. Let's see. Let's see what I have. I have two picks. Um, I have two books here. I have No Exit and It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. I I think these are the only two books that I have that I have had on my TBR the longest, believe it or not. So I don't know. I don't know which one to pick, but if I had to say I'm more into a more of a thriller fantasy like thriller fantasy mood. So I think I'm gonna go with No Exit. This is a thriller by Taylor Adams, I would believe. So um the only thing I know about this book is basically that this girl um gets um stuck in like this snowstorm in a gas station and when she goes to get out of her car she sees this kid in like a dog cage or like in a cage or something and she basically is snowed in in this storm with a whole bunch of people in this gas station and she has to find out who the owner of this truck is and why that kid is there and to try to help the kid so i feel like this is the only thing i know about this book so i'm really excited let's choose our second read and if i'm lower it's because i'm like kneeling down Let's see. I'm actually really excited for this pick, so I'm actually going to put it here. Okay. Most recent purchase. I'm actually really excited for this because I think I already know. Um, my most recent purchase, uh, I thrifted this book, actually. Um, and it is a romance, but it's fine. Um, my most recent purchase is To All the Loves I Loved Before, To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. I actually want to rewatch the show on Netflix and it's good to have options. So I think I'm going to read this one. I'm really excited to read it because I want to read the book and then watch the movie back and see what that's like. So we have our first two picks. I'm actually really excited. Let's go ahead and pick our third pick of the month for the month of September. So this one is finish a series. I did. I don't know what to pick. Let me go look and then I'll be right back. I'm back. So luckily we only have two books that I have to finish. I don't think I'm in the mi middle of a lot of series. So that's amazing. I have the first, which is the score. This is the third book in the Elf Campus series. I'm really freaking intrigued about this book. My bestie read this book and she's actually really, really hyping me up to read it. She says that I think this was one of our babes. And then I have Legendary, which I just read Carnival, Car Carnival, Carnival. I just read Carnival, I think a couple days ago and I had to purchase Legendary. So I don't know which one to pick. Ugh. I have been on a fantasy mood a lot, but I think I'm going to go with The Score by L. Kennedy, just because I have been wanting to read this book for a for a while now so i'm gonna go ahead and put another romance into our september tbr i wasn't expecting to pick another romance and i hope i get something else for like a fantasy or a thriller because your girl needs to stay away from the romances for the month of september so let's see what our next choice will be let's go ahead and pick our nest so i have three this is number four. Oh now a 400 plus page book let me see what i have 
this was kind of an easy choice for me like a easy pick i was just talking about it i'm just gonna do legendary by um stephanie gerber because it just makes sense like i just carnival is fresh in my mind right now and this is actually well over like damn near 500 pages so it's this is gonna be the one so that is number one two three four number four let's go ahead and pick our fifth pick i'm actually really excited hopefully i don't get nothing bad oh freak i was trying to avoid this one for a freaking long time like because this book really does scare me and the reason why it scares me is just because I just want it to be what everyone else says it is you know what I mean it's like one of those so oh, I can't I just can't so the book that I'm most afraid of reading is fourth wing so I think this is gonna be the month that we're reading fourth wing I'm actually, I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Um, a friend of mine, Ashley, was like, you need to read it. Like, have you read it? And I was like, no, but I have a couple picks on my jar that would make me want to read this. And when I thought about this pick of like, read something that scares you, I was like this one. Because one, the, page, the book is like 500 plus pages. Two, a lot of people absolutely love this book. And... I am just scared that it's not going to be up to like everyone's standards like when it comes to like my opinion. I don't know, you know, all I know is that it involves like a, a school like dragons and like something and romance and stuff. So I'm actually really excited for this one. So I had to pick this one for my fifth pick. So let's let's move on. This is going to be my sixth pick. So we're doing seven to eight. I think I'm going to do just seven because this one is pretty large. The other one's pretty large. I just want to make sure that I do end up sticking to my TBR and read. Uh, okay, so this one is another one. Like, I think it's good. It's an author that you have never read before. Um, choose a book from an author that you have never read before. Let's, let's look, friends. Um, oh, my God. I have so many, and I think I have more romance than anything else. And why am I going for like the biggest ones? Like I feel like the longest ones are, oh, it's easy. It's easy. I'm going to be doing this one, The Kiss of Deception. I have been wanting to read this one for a while and I have been putting it on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. I will leave my beautiful page here. Um, anyways, I have been wanting to read this one for a while and a lot of people's like, oh, you should read it. This is from the, um, the Kiss of Deception, the, um, Remnant Chronicles, I hope that's how you say it. So I'm actually really excited for this one. I'm sticking to like more fantasies, thrillers, so that's good because that is what I wanted to read. I only have two romances here so far, so that's good. Now let's pick our last pick. I'm going to just do this as our last pick of the month because i want to make sure i stick to my tbr and i want to make sure i do that so oh this is a good one too a book with a purple cover so let me take you up there because i know that up there is where i have all my purple covers so let's go hi guys we're up here now so these are all my purple covers i have i can do what happens after midnight this is the companion series to uh the summer of broken rules and is it the summer of broken rules yeah the summer of broken rules so that's i have this one i can do um you deserve each other i don't think i have a fantasy with a purple cover i don't think i have a fantasy with a purple cover which sucks would you consider no that's not purple that sucks okay so i have to hate Adam Connor, I feel like this is the second or the third in a in a series, so I don't want to pick that. Um, I don't think I have another purple cover book. Do I? I don't. Okay, that sucks. Okay, I wanted to see if I had like a fantasy with the purple cover, but I don't. I only have this two here. So what happens after midnight and you deserve each other? I'm going to go with you deserve each other because my uh, friend again, Lacey, she has, um, you know, she said some stuff about this book that I really wanted, you know, 
I actually want to read it, so I'm actually going to pick this one. Okay, Bessie, so this is our picks for the month of September. I'm actually really excited. <gasps> the most nervous I am. I got, I'm the most nervous for Fourth Wing. I'm not going to lie. Legendary, it ended on a, I don't know. It ended Effie for me, Carol, so I'm actually excited for that one too. And the other ones I'm like excited for, but I'm actually more nervous for fourth wing but it has to be done so check out my youtube channel subscribe if you have not subscribed already i'm probably going to be doing reading vlogs for some of these books like i want to do it for fourth wing just because it's like a popular read so that that should be a fun interesting reading vlog to see my reaction so if you made it to the end of this video and you saw me choosing my tbr thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye Thank you.